improve your learning first question in sericulture industry do which stages of silkworm do weavers bite why do they do so answer the eggs of silk moth are called seeds these moths are kept in grill mesh boxes in separate rooms these are also called chilakalu another name for them is bombyx mori white cloth pieces or paper are arranged at the time of laying eggs moths lay hundreds of eggs on them a female moth lays around 500 eggs in one go and dies farmers from different places come and purchase these eggs second which place in our state is called silk city pochampalli in our state is called the silk city third one prepare a chart showing life cycle of silkworm and display that in the classroom so here you have to prepare a chart showing life cycle of earthworm so life cycle of earthworm see you have to draw the picture and you have to write the life cycle okay eggs worm big size worm grown up worm grown worm larva caterpillar cocoon pupa mature pupa imago okay this is the life cycle of silk worm you have to draw and you have to display in the classroom next one fourth one why are cocoons stifled the cocoons have to be stifled to kill the larva inside if the larva inside is not killed it will cut its way out after growing into a moth and spoil the cocoon if such thing happens continuous thread of silk from such a cocoon is not possible to get next fifth one what will happen if cocoon is not boiled answer if cocoon is not boiled the larva inside the cocoon grows and cuts its way out after growing into a moth and spoil the cocoon in such a case we won't be able to obtain quality fiber for fabric so we have to boil the cocoon next one sixth what are the differences between fleas of angora goat and camel angar angora goat fleas angora goat live in kashmir camel live in rajasthan angora goat have soft hair camels have rough and coarse hair seventh one make a flow chart showing various stages of production of woolen fabric so you have to write a flow chart so first shearing scoring sorting bleaching dyeing combing or carding spinning weaving or knitting rolling and twisting woolen fabric so these are the stages of production of woolen fabric okay you have to write this flow chart next one eighth one in what way is knitting different from weaving answer strands of yarn are arranged in vertical and horizontal rows in a loom to weave a weave fabric two sets of yarn arranged together to make fabric is called weaving wool can be knit easily because it has natural bend or crimp on it by making knots with loops and rings of a long thread of yarn 
woolen fabrics are knitted. In addition to handmade process of knitting, hand looms and power looms are also used on which woolen yarn is woven woven to fabric. Okay, in figures you can see here. Hmm? So this is weaving and this is knitting. Okay. So this one knitting we can do with needles. Okay. With hands also we can do at home. Okay, this weaving means we should have that complete setup. Okay. This is handloom products. These both are handloom products, but knitting we can do with hands with at home also. Okay, we don't need any other extra setup, just we need two needles. And here we need that extra setup, complete setup for weaving. Okay, so knitting can be done with hands as well as in power looms and hand looms also. Nowadays, this knitting is done with not only with hands, with needles, in power looms and hand looms also we can do knitting. Okay, so this is the difference between knitting and weaving. Okay, next woolen threads 50, 60 point woolen threads are stretched from top of loom to the bottom these are called back threads the threads that go side to side are weft threads a shirtel like a big needle takes the weft threads over and under waft threads one more important part of the loom is the harness the harness lifts every other warp thread so that the weft threads go over one and, and under the next. All types of yarn, whether cotton or silk or wool, etc., are woven in this manner. Okay, in B figure, you can see the how waving is done. Okay, and A figure, it is knitting is done. Okay. So this is eighth answer. Next ninth one. Prepare a scrap book with pictures of different wool yielding animals. Different type of wools yield by the animals. So prepare a book. Okay. So this you have to prepare by it, by your own. Okay. Goat, camel, sheep, yak, liloma, alpaca. Okay. All these things with pictures you have to prepare a scrapbook okay next one tenth one fill up the blank and give your reasons for the statement dash fabric protect us from cold so generally when it is very cool we'll be wearing which type of clothes woolen clothes those are nothing but the sweaters we'll be wearing okay so those sweaters are made up of wool Woolen fabric protect us from cold because wool is a poor conductor of heat. Air trapped in between the woolen fibers and our body prevents the flow of heat from our body to surroundings. Okay, eleventh one. If you are going to visit Dal Lake at Kashmir, which type of clothes would you like to keep in your luggage? Why? Answer in Kashmir it would be very cold unless one wears clothes to protect himself from this chill weather it becomes difficult to carry on with their day to day activities. Woolen clothes protect from chill weather. The gap between the threads of the woolen cloth is filled with air. Air and wool are bad conductors of heat. Woolen clothes are best to wear in Kashmir. So, I keep woolen clothes in my luggage when I am going to visit Kashmir. Next 12th answer. Do you find any similarities and differences between silk and wool waving? What are they? Similarities and differences. Silk and wool are two types of fibers that are obtained from animal sources. Silk is manufactured from the cocoons of silkworms whereas wool is manufactured from the fur of furry animals like goats. Both, uh, both silk and wool weaving is done on power looms as well as on hand looms. Woolen threads are stretched 
from the top of the loom to the bottom these are called wrap threads warp threads the threads that go side to side are weft threads a shuttle like a big needle takes the weft threads over and under warp threads one more important part of the loom is the harness the harness lets every other warp thread so that the weft threads go over one and under the next all types of yarn either whether cotton or silk or wool etc are woven in this manner okay this is the 12th answer next 13th one write five differences between wool and silk manufacturing the silk yarn is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth the fleece of the sheep along with the thin layer of skin is removed from its body this process is called shearing second point for obtaining silk moths are raped and their cocoons are collected to get silk thread the sheared skin with hair is thoroughly washed in tanks to remove grease dust and dirt this is called scoring the process of taking out threads from the cocoon for use as silk is called reeling the silk the hairy skin is sent to a factory where hair of different textures are separated tasser muga kosa etc are different varieties of silk the small fluffy fibers called burrs are picked out from the hair silk fibers obtained by reeling the spun into silk threads which are woven into silk cloth by the weavers fibers are straightened combed and rolled into yarn the longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and the shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen cloth okay these are the five differences between wool and silk manufacturing 14th one observe designs on silk sarees trace them in your notebook and make your own designs so this you have to do it by yourself okay next one in east india silk is called pat you may collect different pieces of silk fabric from a cloth stores and write the names of the type of fabric and make a chart so this is also you have to do yourself here just you have to collect silk different types of silk fabrics okay you collect different types of silk fabric and just write the names of the fabric okay here just for example we have given the names banaras jamdani silk tasser silk muga silk okay so do this uh, by yourself by this we complete the third lesson question answers in the next video we'll be seeing the next lesson question answers till then bye kids have a nice day